The Internet is often described as a network of networks, a vast system of interconnected devices and servers that share information across the globe. Understanding how the Internet works requires examining its infrastructure, from local networks to global communication systems, and following the journey of data from its origin to its destination. In this brief overview, I explore the backbone of the Internet, focusing on Internet service providers, ISPs, access technologies, and the process of sending data like an email over the Internet. The Internet's foundation lies in its hierarchical structure, categorized by tiers of Internet service providers, ISPs. Tier 1 ISPs are the largest providers that form the backbone of the Internet. They own and operate extensive fiber optic networks, connecting countries and continents via submarine cables and terrestrial links. Tier 1 providers include AT&T, a USA company, Verizon Communications, a USA company, GTT Communications, a USA company, Cogent Communications, a USA company, Lumen Technologies, formerly known as CenturyLink, a USA company, Aurelian, formerly known as Telia Carrier, a company based in Sweden NTT, Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Corporation, a company based in Japan, Tata Communications, a company based in India, and Deutsche Telekom, a company based in Germany. Tier 1 ISPs do not pay for internet connectivity because they engage in a process called peering to exchange data directly with one another. Peering is an agreement between ISPs to share traffic at no cost, allowing data from one network to flow onto another without relying on an intermediary. Tier 2 ISPs connect to Tier 1 ISPs and may also peer with other Tier 2 providers. They pay Tier 1 ISPs for upstream connectivity and offer services to Tier 3 ISPs and other large organizations. Examples of Tier 2 ISPs include Comcast, Cox, Charter Communications, China Telecom, British Telecom, Vodafone, Virgin Media, and SoftBank Japan. Tier 3 ISPs are the local providers delivering internet access to end users, such as homes and businesses. They rely on Tier 2 ISPs for connectivity and focus on providing last mile services. Examples of Tier 3 ISPs include Zimbabwe Online, Mediacom, WOW, Frontier Communications, Texavi, Canada, EWE Tel, Germany, and Great Wall Broadband Network, China. Together, these tiers create a layered structure that ensures seamless global communication. To qualify as an ISP, a company or organization must apply and acquire an Autonomous System AS, number from Regional Internet Registry RIR, responsible for managing IP address allocations in their regions. An autonomous system is a collection of IP networks and routers under the control of a single organization or administrative entity that presents a common routing policy to the Internet. Before diving into data routing, it's important to understand how users connect to the Internet. The primary access technologies include hybrid fiber coaxial, HFC, is commonly used in cable Internet. This combines fiber optic backbones with coaxial cables for the last mile to homes. Twisted copper pair, DSL, transmits data over traditional telephone lines. Fiber optic access technologies like fiber to the home, FTTH, deliver ultra-fast speeds via optical fibers. Mobile networks such as 4G and 5G connect mobile devices to the internet through cellular towers. Satellite access is another access possibility. Traditionally, satellite internet relies on geosynchronous or geostationary satellites positioned 22,300 miles above Earth. At this specific orbital distance, the satellite appears stationary relative to any point on the planet. However, these satellites often experience high latency, 
signals must travel approximately 44 pounds and 600 miles round trip between the ISP equipment, the satellite, and back to Earth, causing delays that are unsuitable for many applications. The introduction of low Earth orbit satellites such as Starlink has made satellite internet access much more viable by reducing latency and improving performance. Let's explore how data travels through the internet using the example of sending an email. For example, when you send an email and click send, your device first digitizes your message into a series of ones and zeros, which are then organized into packets. These packets contain headers with source, where the message is coming from, and destination internet protocol addresses. The IP addresses allocated to you by your ISP are analogous to your home address. The data packets are sent to your modem, which converts them into a format suitable for transmission over the chosen access medium, e.g. DSL, cable or fiber. The modem passes the packets to a router, which directs them to the correct destination based on the destination IP address. The router also manages local network traffic within your home or business, such as deciding whether to send data to different laptops, mobile devices, and any other internet-connected devices. If you're using mobile internet, the data travels through a mobile access network to the nearest cellular tower. For wired connections, the data is sent via coaxial cable, DSL, or fiber to the ISP's central office. The ISP acts as a gateway or post office, routing the data toward its target destination, following the best path. The data is forwarded through a series of routers in regional data centers and core networks. Core networks serve as backbones, enabling communication between various distributed networks. If the destination is in another country or region, the data travels through Tier 1 ISP networks often via undersea cables. Finally, the data reaches the destination ISP's central office and is routed to the end user's device through their access network. Routers use protocols like Border Gateway Protocol, BGP, to determine the most efficient path for data to travel. Data packets may take different routes to reach the same destination where they are reassembled in the correct order. In conclusion, the Internet's seamless operation is a marvel of engineering, relying on a vast interconnected network of ISPs, robust access technologies and sophisticated routing protocols. From your device to a modem, through access networks and across ISP backbones, every packet of data takes an intricate journey to reach its destination. This hierarchical yet collaborative structure ensures that the Internet remains fast, reliable and capable of supporting the growing demands of modern communication. The planning, design, operation and maintenance of various aspects of the Internet offer excellent career opportunities for well-trained and experienced networking professionals. Explore our intense optical network certifications to connect the world. Thank you for watching and goodbye.